Hey guys, Blue Kirby Productions here, back with some more trick and tweet where we left off. Ashley was being rude and we are just about to leave her in the dark, creepy cave all by her, uh, forest all by herself. But, you know, she called us and wants us to listen to her, so I guess we're gonna do whatever she says. So without further ado, let's do it. I stop in my tracks as soon as I hear her. Really? Danger? I whispered, feeling some doubt. Suddenly, I shiver. It doesn't look like she's lying. Yes, I try to chase them away after using illusions. Away using illusions. Other times, I hit them with my powers. And as a last resort, I scare them directly, as it was in your case. Ashley confessed, blushing a little as it as if she felt embarrassed of remembering. And why do you do uh, that? I mean, honestly, I feel like if you explain the situation to them, that if they continue going in the forest, they will die. I think that's a way better, what's it called, uh, indicator that you shouldn't go in this forest, than some, I don't know, just scaring them off with politics. I ask, confused. Uh, something isn't right here. Ashley stares at me with her eyes red. Uh, with her red eyes. If they continue with their curiosity, they will meet an evil entity that will take their lives. What you say doesn't sound very convincing. I immediately interrupted. The only evil entity here is you. Ashley shakes her head in denial. You are wrong. I'm the good one. Then she said, looking into my eyes with a pure innocence in her uh, innocence in hers. <laughs> I could hardly laugh at that comment. It had to be a joke. I mean, she wasn't the nicest person to us. After doing all that, you said you're good. Wait, after doing all that, you say you're good. Don't laugh, I'm only trying to protect you, replied Ashley, furious, while waving her arms. She then crosses her arms and gives me an unpleased look. Do you expect me to believe that? I replied sarcastically. What she said made no sense, but somehow she seemed oddly convinced it was the truth. She was surely a bit wrong in the head. But it's true, you have to believe me. This time, she sounds really worried about me. I actually feel a little sorry for her. Ashley then stays silent, looking at me with puppy eyes. However, she soon recovers her proud attitude. If you want, hold my hand. I won't harm you, she suddenly says. I look carefully at her. She has a very arrogant face, as if it was a great honor to be able to touch her. You won't do anything strange? I asked this to, uh, distrustfully, but after seeing her again, I do not think she was lying. Ashley nods full of confidence. I promise you. I stare at her for a few seconds, making sure there isn't a trap. Okay, but why do you want me to hold your hand? I asked at the same time I extended my hand. Ashley opens her eyes, surprised, after hearing my question. Then she stares at me with annoyance. Are you stupid? Obviously to guide you out of the forest. She said just as she takes my hand in one quick moment. Movement. Uh, one quick move. I then find myself uh, being dragged by this strange girl. But this is the opposite way from where the... A uh, melodious voice comes. I said, looking back for a second. I felt really curious about who she was. Uh, she just explained there was an evil entity killing people. And you want to go towards the evil entity that's killing people? I don't think so. Uh, you ignore that voice. It charms men to make them her victims. See, why is it she's only going for men? That sucks. Think of it as a siren. Ashley explained in bad mood. Wait, Ashley explained in bad mood. I guess it's Ashley explained in a bad mood. 
with her eyes always looking to the front. It seems she didn't get away, or she didn't get along well with whoever that person or entity was. Wouldn't you be the one who collects souls of fools? I asked without thinking. I seriously need more experience when dealing with a girl. Yeah, this is. Yeah, you're just gonna get slapped eventually. I can just feel it. If only I were more popular. Ashley stops suddenly. She then turns at me, showing me a furious face. You idiot! I already said I'm the good one. For a moment, I thought she was going to hit me on the face or head. Honestly, I would. But uh, fortunately, she stopped before doing so, or biting me again. Okay, okay. I meekly respond, uh, responded as if I were a scolded child. But if you eat me, I will make sure to give you the worst indigestion in your life. You idiot. I don't eat humans. I just sunate, what's it called, saute them, and then feed them to the, what's it called, demon lady. Replied Ashley, ending with an arrogant snort. 11, uh, 3.11 a.m. Several minutes has passed since I started to walk hand in hand with Ashley. At the beginning, I did not trust her at all, but the more time passed, the easier it was to believe her. I haven't noticed before how comfortable her hand is, soft and pleasant to the touch. I blush just thinking about it. Even if she is a witch, she's a girl too, right? Then I sigh. Come on, Alex. Composure, composure. With every step, the curse of the forest seemed to weaken. The atmosphere was less oppressive every minute, until finally I was able to forget about the unpleasant feeling. Uh, before I noticed, the darkness had returned to normal, feeling only empty. The rotten smell also had disappeared without a trace. Now I could really say I was in a common and orderly, ordinary forest, even boring. But I could not be more grateful for that. Just a little more to get out, so let's keep moving. Then I set my sight on the back of Ashley, watching her walk in silence. She was completely focused on that simple thing. If you're the witch from the legend, why are you helping me? I suddenly asked, not thinking twice before it. I was really intrigued by that. I mean, I think we've already established curiosity kills people, so I think you need to stop. But honestly, wouldn't you be, what's it called, uh, intrigued by a story like this? I mean, a witch in a forest? It's not something you see every day. Ashley stops and turns, looking at me with an angry face. Idiot, do you really, uh, do you really, yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying it, do you really think that all witches are evil? She was right, the general image of witches is not good, but it's not as if stereotypes were truthful. Then she closes her eyes, making an annoyed face. It's true that I had supernatural powers, but I never used them to do harm. Ashley lowers her sight and pauses. Suddenly, she looks sad. My only sin was to be born in the time of the witch hunts. That's why I was condemned. That explains it. Well, I feel that I can trust she is good. I can trust she is good. But there's still one more question. How did you end up becoming a cat? Ashley immediately blushes. She was so embarrassed that it was almost adorable. Almost. Well, before my execution, there was a cat watching in the distance. So I decided to transfer my soul to it. She explained, avoiding looking into my eyes. Of course, we now share the body we have like a deal. The cat will be happy as long as it has something to eat and a place to sleep. I try to provide her with all these needs. And in return, she lets me stay in her body. As she talks, she's blushing shyly. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is. I see. I think it's a fair deal. A fair, a fair deal. Although, the fact that you turn back into a human, like, I don't understand that bit. Like, you're a human right now. So what, you can, like, shake, uh, shapeshift from a cat to a human? 
I replied with a sincere smile. The truth is that I found it a little funny. It turns out that she is both a girl and a cat that answers some questions. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. When she wants to, she can be very cute. Too bad that happens so rarely. Not saying more, Ashley continues walking to the exit. This time, I stay in silence. All that remains for me is to escape from this place. 11.15 a.m. Or 3.15 p.m. a.m. Well, here we are, Ashley said just a few minutes after we walked, uh, we talked. She isn't lying. I can see the end of the forest in the distance. I had to contain my desire to scream with joy at that moment. There must be two other humans close here, your friends. Go with them and return home. I hope that nobody else comes tonight, Ashley said, giving me a subtle farewell. But strangely, she does not let go of my hand. She looks deep into my eyes. Amazed, I notice the gentleness that reflects on them. Can you make me a promise? She suddenly said with an honest voice. It was no joke. What is it? I asked, fully, uh, I asked full of curiosity. I don't know what I could do for a witch, but after helping me to escape, I think that she deserves me to help or to hear her request. End this legend. She then murmured with an air of sadness. I can't understand why she asked for something like this. Uh, because she doesn't want people to get killed? And also, it's not a good legend. What do you mean? I want you to help me to keep people away. The legend only attracts more people, as in your case. I need to kill it, replacing the supernatural danger with a human danger. A human danger? Definitely freaking Cyclops. Say there's a Cyclops in the area, people will be running away screaming. Or say there's aliens. Just like in the, what's it called, movie... I don't remember what the movie was called, uh... In the need for war or something, people thought there was aliens, and boom, there were none. So you want to scare them with ordinary dangers, as, th as thieves or fear uh, ferocious animals? On second thought, there's a logic in what you asked. If you remove the element of magic and only leave the danger, then exploring the forest is not worth the risk. Ashley nods and then looks into my eyes, blushing. Yes, exactly, she said, pleased. Okay, I'll do it. You can uh, rely on me, I respond with determination. I wanted her to know how serious I was. That is, was not a promise I would forget as soon as I got out of the forest. Thank you. Then she closes her eyes momentarily and inflates her chest with pride. You aren't as stupid as I thought. Thank you for being so kind for us, uh, being so kind to me even though we're about to, you know, part ways. Thanks, I really appreciate being called not as stupid as I thought, you know. That's really, I mean, you still think I'm stupid, but I'm, at least I'm not as stupid as you thought. I'm still stupid apparently, but you know, I should have expected something like that. Hey, I told you not to talk ill of someone when they're in front of you, I complain angrily. This cat, I mean this girl, simply will never change. After seeing my reaction, Ashley cannot help but laugh. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's the first time I've been seen ha- It's the first time I've seen her happy. I've seen her so happy. I don't know why I can't read. Probably because it's late at night and my brain is everywhere else right now. That made me blush. Ashley looked unexpectedly adorable at that moment. My heart was nervously beating, as if I was in with a normal girl. I mean, she kind of is a normal girl, if you X out the magic and her turning into a feline. Suddenly, she stares at me and gets so close her face is less than an inch from mine. Again, she demonstrates not knowing what personal space is. But this time, I don't know whether to be angry or thankful. Having her so close, a beautiful girl, makes me very nervous. This is the farewell, she suddenly said. She then brings her lips to my cheek and gives me a tender kiss. 
I mean, that's one way to say goodbye. Everything becomes white at that moment. Everything loses its color. Everything is gone. Everything, everything. Well, he died. Uh, goodbye. Uh, that was good. This is 11... 3.18 a.m. Why can I not read times? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm outside of the forest. I have no idea of how I made it here, but this is no illusion. I am bewildered, as if I had been sleepwalking. Alex! Alex! Suddenly I hear someone calling my name. But it's not any strange voice. It's the voices of my friends who are looking for me. How did they make it out of the forest without the help of this witch? And how did none of them get eaten? Like, bruh. Hey, over here. I shout without a second of hesitation. With a bit of clumbling, uh, clum, clum, cum, what the cu clumsiness because of my confusion. Soon they found me and impatiently run towards me. Where were you? The worrying was killing us, Stephen said with a face that I don't remember having ever seen before. Before answering, I rubbed my forehead. I would be pissed. They left the forest without me. Like, bruh. Within the forest, I couldn't find the exit. Alfred was about to say something, but before that, I interrupted him. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was just lost. The important thing is that we are all safe. Yes, you're right. Hey, don't you feel that we are forgetting something? Alfred murmured at the same time he lowers his sight. Uh... Pensive? I don't know. Suddenly, a blurry image appears in my mind. It was white and bright, but I can't remember more. However, that weak memory awakes a strange feeling of nostalgia in me. It was as if I had lost something, but what could it be? Anyway, we should go home. This has gone too far for a test of courage, I said with no intention of spending one more minute in the forest. They both agree with me. With nothing else to say, we can only return home. By the way, guys, we should write on that page to not go to the forest. Forget about the witches. Somebody might get lost there, as it happened to me. It was a miracle that I came out alive with that beast looking around. Before knowing it, my lips move. Why did I say that? I have no idea, but something inside inspired me to do so. To be honest, I have no memory of the beast I speak of. All I can remember is that it has red eyes and white fur, but nothing more. Then I remember something. I think it was a promise I made to... Wait, to whom had I made the promise? Or to whom have I made that promise? I think about it for a moment in silence, but in the end, I can't remember a thing. No matter, all I know is that I got out and I'll never come back here again. Well guys, we got one of the good endings, where we make it out of the forest alive. Is it the best ending? No. Are we going to get the other endings? Yes. So let the video continue and let's see what happens. Okay, we, we're going to skip because we've already seen this part. Okay, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to skip ahead because I don't really want to reread all this part. We're going to skip all the things we didn't. Okay, now we're going to ignore the cat. It is best to continue without waking her. That cat is dangerous. It's her fault that I ended up in this place and my friends are missing. I don't know what else that cat is capable of doing, so I decide it's better to leave it behind and continue walking. 2.37 a.m. Okay, so we decided to ignore the cat. We're going to get all the endings. As soon I lost sight of the cat, once more I find myself in the dark forest. Walking aimlessly, only moving forward, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. Come here. Here you, you'll be safe. I suddenly stop. It was probably easy to see disbelief on my face at that moment. It's that voice again. I whispered to myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I got away from the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. 
It is a feminine voice, soft and gentle, as if it belonged to a princess from a fairy tale. But I can't trust it. Am I really going crazy, or is it this forest that doesn't make any sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the two options. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. Every time the voice is heard, more clearly, stronger, and more often. She seemed to be leading me somewhere. It does not inspire me with uh, confidence, but between the voice and staying here in this protrude forest that seems to have no end, I choose to follow it. I don't think it's was it called pretty wise to follow a weird voice you don't know, shortly after I arrived to a clearing in the forest. At last, I can see the night sky. The full moon shines elegantly, surrounded by a blanket of darkness and stars. A beautiful image, but there's something strange in it. How weird, wasn't there a half moon tonight? I said to myself as I look at the moon and try to remember a vague memory in my mind. Anyway, it is not important. The moon will not come to save me. Hello, oh, this is the cottage. I lower my sight. It was then that I noticed there was a cabin in the uh, clearing. It was hidden under the shade of the trees nearby, so I didn't see it before, I think. The cabin looks old and worn down, even depressing, but if I'm lucky, there may be someone here. there. Open the door. I'm waiting for you, my knight. Suddenly I hear the voice again. It was in this cabin, no doubt. Somehow her voice sounds different this time. It was an inexplicable kindness, even love. I feel as, as if I were a man returning home to see his wife. After thinking about it for a moment, I can't help but laugh at myself. How silly, I must be really losing my mind. I said as a joke, hiding my anxiety with humor. In any case, there's nothing else for me than to open the door. However, I can't stop thinking that I'm forgetting something. My hand then slowly opens the door of the cabin. What awaits me there is something that leaves me perplexed. The bodies of the five missing people were hanging as if they were puppets. Okay, wow. With empty eyes, but all of them are facing me. And between them is a woman with a big smile. See, that's my ticket to leave, okay? Thank you. I opened my eyes wide with amazement, and my lips got dry. Finally, I remember what I was forgetting, when it was too late. Thank you for saving me, by giving me your life, said the voice with an indescribable love, but announcing my horrible demise. It's true, Matthew disappeared in a clearing without any trace. Dang. I have no breath to speak. I just know what we can add someone more to the list. <sighs> okay, well, I got the good and bad end. Wow. Well, all right then. Uh, guys, I'm going to end this here. We ended up getting the good and bad end. Let's try to get the other two endings or whatever in the next episode. But until then, I'm Blue Cover Productions signing off. Wishing you guys an awesome Thursday night. See you in the next video. Goodbye and stay frosty, my friends.